Hello, I'm Nicola. Today we're going to make torch projectors. So let's start with what we need. We're going to need marker pens, like these. Colours are better. You could do black ones, but it's nicer with colours. Um, I've got Sharpie pens because they've got a point on. They are permanent, so we've got to be careful with them. You're going to need different plastic. It has to be clear. I've tried some different ones and I'm going to show you which are going to be the best. So there's pros and cons to each one, uh, but I'll go through that in a minute. You need a torch. You could use a Pringles tub or maybe a yogurt tub. So let's go through the pros and cons first. So first of all, I tried Pringles tub, which is nice and easy to use because you get the torch, turn it on, pop the torch in, and then you've got a big torch. But with this one, I will show you in a minute, I found it didn't work very well because it wasn't very strong, the picture when you project it on the wall. So, I tried to hold it instead, but as I'll show you in a bit, when you hold it, if you put your finger in the way, it's a bit tricky. So you've got to be, you've got to, a bit of practice and you'll get it. So you need to hold it like that. If you hold it like that, then it's going to ruin it a little bit. So it's a bit hard, but you'll get used to it. You hold it like that. And then you can put the torch behind. I won't do it because I don't want to blind you. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then I tried some clear plastic. Now I got this off the bottom of a um, grapes container and I've got in trouble actually. You must ask permission unlike me because my partner was going to use a grape container to put some plants in. So I should have asked really, but I didn't. So ask permission. <laughs> So this one, we've got, I've done a monster and a witch on this one. Um, and it works really well. You could put the torch behind, this is quite thick. So it's, it's not too flimsy. And I found it worked really well. Because it's easy to use, you put the torch behind and it makes the picture a little bit stronger. Um, that what you can hear in the background is my cat. <laughs> These little bell. So let's try. Let's see what they're like. Actually, first I'm going to give you some tips. Um, what I found when I was when I was drawing, first of all, I started with this one. Nice, easy shape. This is a, is a love heart, so it's an easy one to start with. So you could draw the shape on there, have a practice. Brilliant, nice and easy. But I wanted to do some different shapes. Um, the hard shapes are true. These ones aren't too bad. there has got a flower. I've got Pac-Man and Pac-Man's ghost. But drawing the witch was a little bit difficult. So I've got a tip for you with this one. If you draw your character or whatever you want to draw on paper first, then you put the plastic over the top and then you can trace it. Now, I would also recommend another mistake I made, which you need to learn from, because you'll get in trouble if you do what I have done. <laughs> if you put, it always put paper underneath. So when you colour, you don't go off the edge and get it on the table because it's going to stain. But one of the mistake I made, I coloured it in and then turned it over, put it on the table, and the, it was still wet on that side. So it got on the table. Luckily, I did it quick and it wiped off. But, and this table's not a very good table, so it doesn't matter. But if you use your mum or your dad's dining room table, then you might be in trouble. So paper underneath, please. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to it. Um, so for the, for the witch, I had to draw it on paper and then put it over the top. If you just put one coat on, it's not brilliant. So I turned it over, <laughs> as I've told you. And I did it, I coloured it in again. And then I turned it back over and I put another coat on. Then I turned it back over and put another coat on. That made it stronger. Um, so it's darker. It was a bit, not very good when I did just one coat. So 
let's have a go, shall we? I've not got any more tips or to. I don't think I have. I think that's it. Oh, one tip. This is when you're doing this. I'm going to show you how to make your mon like maybe the monster big and small. But when I did it, I'm not very good at this really. When I did it, I got a little bit carried away and a bit excited, and I never moved things out of the way. So when I moved back, I nearly tripped over. Uh, so we need to be a little bit more careful than me. Anyway, let's get on. Next bit, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you do it. So. is what happens when you move back the monster moves bigger yours will look better because the camera on my computer isn't very good and it's reflecting on the plastic so you can't see it as well so yours will actually look a lot better than this one with the pac-man one you could play a game get a friend one of you could be pac-man and the other could be the ghost and the ghost has got to catch pac-man um my partner <laughs> was quite happy or relieved that we didn't have two torches so she didn't have to play because I can get a little bit hyper <laughs> so have fun thanks you for watching here are some of my books you'll find links to my author page below you might also want to join my Facebook page because there are lots of games on there too I've also added my email in case you want to get in touch